my name is James Emery with Invicta Studios and today I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone a little bit and teach you guys how to code a teleporting mechanic into your game or project. I've already built mine, I'll show you what it looks like and in the later videos I'll deconstruct all of it and teach you how it all works. So this is what it looks like. Your standard teleport isn't actually a teleport, it's more of a zoom mechanic that will let you cross large distances in a very small short of time. Uh, so that's what this looks like. Start over here and zoom up in between these two. You'll notice the power bars in the left hand corner. Every time you use your standard zoom, it goes down 25 units and fills up at 5 units per second. The bar on the bottom you see isn't filled up whatever the main power bar is at 100%, you can hold left shift and that bar will increase by 25 units per second until it gets to 100 units. And whenever both bars are full and you're holding left shift, you can teleport, but it's a very special teleport, and I'll show you what I mean right now. You can see the distance we just traveled was enormous. It's nearly 700 units from here to this beach. It's an extraordinary amount. And you can also tell that whenever we did that teleport, the screen's FOV stretched and the camera shook. Um, pretty much like in, if you've ever seen the movie Jumper, every time he would teleport, the screen would shake. And, dis and in Dishonored, the, uh, the FOV would get stretched. And it, it makes for some pretty cool effects. We're also going to make a distance debugging tool, which you can see in the left-hand uh, upper corner right now. Um, that's good so you can test out how far you want your teleporting to go and the other tool we will build is more of a limiter in the fact that if, if we didn't have it in place you could just click up in the air and fly but as you see it printed off a string just printed off it said in the air if I do it again it says cannot teleport in the air so even if you jump you you can't teleport when you jump so you have to be on the ground so those are just some of the things we're going to implement um, it all looks nice and neat, but in reality, the code is pretty ridiculous. So, but that's what we're going to learn, and I hope you're excited, and we're going to go on this journey together.